Can we talk just a little bit more mm -hmm. about diagnosis and detection? Yes, first, uh, the gastroenterologists who perform procedure need to be familiar with how the gastric cancer or stomach cancer look like at early stage. Because as Dr. Uh, Johnston uh, mentioned that this lesion generally pre uh, present at advanced stage. So a number of uh, practitioner gastroenterologists are not familiar with how to detect early cancer. So uh, in center of excellence or in high volume center that familiar with the examination of gastric uh, cancer, that will be the very important part of early detection. Also, uh, the endoscopic, endoscopic uh, examination need to be uh, really detailed and systematic to prevent uh, error or mislesion. Why would someone come though initially? Why would someone come to even ask if they might have stomach cancer? Actually, most early gastric cancer or early stomach cancer detect incidentally in the United States because we don't have a surveillance or screening guideline. But as uh, mentioned earlier that advanced cancer is more common uh, diagnosis in the United States. So uh, what we receive referral most of the time is the lesion that not sure what it is and we got referral to uh, determine what is the best approach in, in terms of diagnosis and treatment. You said that it was important to take a very systematic approach to evaluating these lesions. Could you tell me a little more about that? Yes. So first, uh, examination, you need to spend enough time to examine every centimeter of the stomach. Uh, and then uh, use special technique, uh, use a special light or dye to highlight the lesion. And the endoscope that you use, uh, it will be better if you use the the endoscope with magnified function to highlight or uh, you can see the, la the margin of the lesion better, which is not widely available uh, outside. Okay. I mean, to me, this highlights one of the benefits of this program. There's someone mm -hmm. that's actually taking the time to focus on these lesions in the stomach, mm -hmm. right? And also, when we think mm -hmm. about it, some of these people are very incidental. All right, or mm -hmm. they're asking, they're, they're coming with reflux or very vague symptoms. Mm -hmm. And so certainly we're not looking for everybody that has a vague belly pain to be seen by a gastroenterologist, but if they are, and it's questionable, you have a group of po folks or a physician that's focused on that aspect. I'd like to follow up just a little bit on this idea mm -hmm. of incidental findings. And certainly I'm familiar, and I bet lots of people are, with the idea that you might be having CT for another reason, and oops, we find something that needs to be followed up. How does that happen with stomach cancers? So uh, that generally, if you can see on the CAT scan, most of these cancers are advanced stage. So uh, the early, early stage cancer, you generally detect under endoscopy examination. Mm -hmm. And if, yeah. you, if you do see it, you usually end up seeing either myself or my colleague first in medical oncology. It's usually large enough at that point or less subtle, right, um, on the CT scan to suggest we need to see a gastroenterologist, get a diagnosis, and then see one of us um, to help treat that patient.